working as a healthcare provider, either a nurse's aide or an LPN, <laughs> something happens like on the floor, like in the elevator, or in the lobby, you are obligated, you are at work. We're on a plane. Like when you did CPR on the plane, you're going to do your basic life support. Okay, that's all we want but to do. are you to obligated to do it? Are you obligated to do it? Like you're on a train or on a plane or something? If you're at work, physically in the building, you could be at lunch in the lunch room and somebody goes down, you got to help them. Physician patient in high fowlers. Okay, so does this move? I don't, yeah. Yeah. Like, there. Is this, is this high fowlers now? Yeah. 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 Okay, so what happens if she's like this? She's like, yeah. Okay, so 90 degrees is high fowlers. Now what's next? So you're going to listen from one side to the other. So imagine the lung, and we're going to listen to the breath sounds this way, okay? Then we're going to actually ask the patient to go and sit up a little bit. Parallel listening to the breath sounds. Okay, all the way to just if you if I were you, I would draw in my head a picture of the lung. Okay? Because you have to do upper and lower lobes. Okay? I just touched your breast, sorry. And what would you hear if this patient needs to be suctioned? Crackles, what else? Okay, rails, what else? Wheezing. Mm -hmm. It's clear yeah. and you don't visually see anything. Are you going to suction them? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. From, um, you know, if we didn't get to that part for Monday, you guys, if you can get the tubing machine, you guys will, uh, you know, we'll use that. Because, you know, then that's where he's on, clean it out. So he needs to be suctioned. Yes. Right. So now you're going to open your suction kit, maintaining the right way. sterility, whatever. Don sterile gloves. Get out of my face. <laughs> I didn't decide to consent to you. No, you didn't, and neither did I. So mute my voice, please. I'm sorry, is there a fly on the wall? There must be. There must be. It's stuck. Is that your dominant hand? Donning this one. I, it's literally stuck, so I'm going to have to like... Break sterile cold. For a second. Just, to... Just for a second. <laughs> Just, I'm just gonna make this disgusting for a second. <laughs> like, it's a gross Have you ever thing. done it before? No. It is nasty. I've heard. I'm not a fan. This I'm is not working. working. I do anything. My, but, my yeah. pinky <laughs> finger won't go in. <laughs> Look how cool that looks. Control your uh, her catheter. Uh, well, you have to hold a little hand. longer. Ten hey. Now, insert sterile catheter without applying suction. So thumbs up. Okay. Yeah. Catheter in solution. You can check it and see if you have know, any more problems or not. Cool. Okay. Dispose of the equipment correctly with wash. If the odor is associated with danger, like the smell of smoke, it quickly activates your sympathetic system's fight-or-flight response environment. And these same intellectual and emotional dynamics apply to taste as well, because after all, taste is 80% smell. As you the endocrine system is sometimes thought of as like a parallel communication system with the nervous system. However, it runs differently. 
The nervous system runs by sending electrical impulses along nerves. on one side. They have left-sided pneumonia. Only your left lobe is going to have crackles. The right side is going to be clear. You I read chapter 18, though, so 18. Okay, we can go. Me. No, but at least I can help you with that. that yeah. Pain management. Oh, that's the one. That's the one that's going to be a bunch of questions. Yeah. When to medicate, how often, what are you looking for, what mm -hmm. are the adverse signs and symptoms, what is, what, what is... It's a lot. Yeah. I have a whole list here too. Self-care deficit. Yes. Ugh, all of that. Powerlessness. Girl, I'm done with this chapter. Yeah. Imbalance nutrition, less of body requirements because you're not, you're in pain, so you're not eating. Yeah. They took that out now, the more the body requirements. Hey guys, so I just got home. Shout out to one of my subbies I met in person today. You, you know who I'm talking about. Spent a few hours after school today with one of my classmates to just get some studying in. I feel like that's what you really need at the end of the day in nursing school. It is crucial to have a study buddy. Somebody that you can bounce off of, that you don't feel like when you study that you're just not getting anywhere. A lot of niggas talking that don't got the heart to say it. God can tell you they see potential and how you do it. I pray you know you're welcome, yeah. nigga. Don't know this shit. Truly. So I just got out of clinicals and I just got myself a pumpkin chai and it's so good from Tropical Smoothie. It's humongous. I don't think I'm gonna drink the whole thing. But I got myself a quesadilla. I'm just having a really rough day. Two cars almost hit me on my way here and doing some clinicals. Did they forget my damn sauce? Like, come on, people, man. They forgot my sauce. 